Alright, this video is going to quickly show you how to take what you wrote in your graphic organizer and put it into your essay. So, once you are done the introduction, remember you have the hook, you have general info, and then you end with the thesis. Now you're going to move into your, your body paragraphs that support your thesis, and you're going to be talking about the three symbols you chose to analyze. Um, in my case, the theme I chose is that all individuals have the natural capacity for evil, it means there's evil in everybody. And the symbols I chose are the conch, the fire, and the masks. So once you're done, your introdu introduction, space down, indent in. And if, if you look at your thesis here, I'm just going to take that. I'm going to copy it. I'm going to paste it here. So, in the novel, Lord of the Flies, Golden uses the symbols of the conch, the fire, and the masks to show that all individuals have the natural capacity for evil. And all you're going to do, you're going to modify that thesis a little bit, and you're just going to include the first symbol you're going to talk about in this case is the conch. So, you also want to, we can do this later, but you can use a little what we call transitional phrases. And uh, I like the phrase, to begin, for the first body paragraph, to begin... Let's get this part out here and just go with the author's last name. To begin, Golden uses the symbol, one symbol, symbol of the conch. We're just going to be talking about the conch in the first paragraph. So let's delete the other two to show that all individuals have the natural capacity for evil. Now, everything we need is going to be in our graphic organizer. I filled this one out here. You might have yours filled out with pen or pencil, and that's fine. Um, so I'm just going to take what I wrote over here. Uh, to begin, Golden uses the symbol of the conch to show that all individuals have the natural capacity for evil. The conch is a symbol of order. As long as the boys have the conch, whoops, conch, top. Uh, we're going to be working on the essay in class. Correct. Yeah. Yep. As long as the boys have the conch, they are following rules and behaving in a civilized manner. So you see, I am taking exactly what I wrote on the right, but you might change it up a little bit. This is, the right is not, you don't have to take it word for word. It's just meant to be used as guidance. Um, but I'm going to continue how the symbol functions because there is an inner evil in all of us. I'm going to call it the beast there in parentheses. Um, I'm just going to have to modify this sentence a little bit. Humans must keep the beast locked away. We do this, just again copying, by living in a society and having rules. But you always want to come back back to your main thesis and you want to talk about how the how the the, the item functions as a symbol so I'm gonna write that sen sentence the conch supports this theme because the conch symbolizes rule and law now of course you need evidence and you need two pieces of evidence right texts or uh, quotes from the text uh, to support your response. So I'm going to take this first one. I'm going to write, to prove this, golden, or you can just use the author. To prove this, the author writes, and then I'm going to take this sentence here, which Piggy says this one. Golden writes, did I not copy it? Try that again. Mm. For some reason, it's not working. Try again. All right, just it's just switching the formatting. I'm just going to write it in. We can call, use this to call the others, have a meeting. If you're getting fancy, you could end the quote, parentheses out, and then put your page number in there. It's the right way to do it. It shows that quote is coming from page 16. Now I've got to explain it. This is Piggy speaking. Uh, a meeting is a symbol of law and order. And there's one of my, just like the apes format, you want to answer, provide evidence, explain. You got to do that twice. Next, 
the author writes, and I'm going to take my next line, which is over here, the conch exploded to a thousand white fragments and ceased to exist. Explain it. This is when the conch gets destroyed. This shows the symbol is now gone and order will be gone as well. And perhaps the most important part of this is if your thesis is, remember what you're trying to prove is you're trying to prove that all individuals have the natural capacity for evil. So you have to come back to that idea and you got to explain that and uh, con connect the symbol to that idea. And that's what I do down here in the final sentence. Once the conch is gone, characters in the story give in to their inner beasts. Everyone has the capacity for evil, right? Exactly what you wanted to prove, right? In your thesis. And the conch was the last item standing in Jack's way. Once the conch explodes, Jack and his tribe really allow their evil to come out. And all I am doing, again, is just I work from the top to the bottom of my graphic organizer, and that's all there is to it. And there's one body paragraph, and then you just move on to your next symbol. And in my case, my next symbol is going to be the masks. And you would take the same basic sentence, the same basic topic sentence you used up here. To begin, Golden uses the symbol of the conch. But another transitional word, I'll go with next. Golden uses the symbol of, my next symbol was the masks. Whoop, the fire. To show that all individuals have the natural capacity for evil. And you just continue down. So I would do conch, fire, and then masks. And that's how you do your body paragraphs. And you're always just coming right back to your graphic organizer, which is why we did the graphic organizers. All the information you need is right there. All right? And that's basically how you can work through your essays.